Hi, and welcome to another uh, art tutorial where we have live requests. And today we have a very special guest, Kirsty, who uh, was around during the uh, premiere of the Star Wars movie in 1977. <laughs> and uh, while I'm drawing... <laughs> you're making me feel old. A very, a very long time ago. And uh, but super cool because uh, to to experience that movie uh, first time round uh, was epic, and I just want to get into the the mood. Um, here's one I did earlier of me with the cinnamon bun hairdo, and we're <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'm not please, gonna... please don't do that to me. Okay. <laughs> No. I might, I might do you as Princess Leia in the metal bikini. How's that? We'll do that um, uh, maybe later. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe, no, but don't, you know, when I saw the movie, I was probably 12, 13-ish. So if you can keep the younger side of the metal bikini look. I can try. And... I can try. But this is art okay. and you never know where it's going to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so the first fun bit we're going to do is um, the most, for me, the most iconic is Darth Vader. And I want you to have a go. And everyone else right. who's watching, also yeah. get your pens and papers out. We're going to do Darth Vader's helmet. And I want you yeah. to do this upside down you. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, okay. And then. It looks like Darth Vader's as well, but that's okay. Yeah. It, well, you'll be surprised. So now we're going to do another sort of two lines coming down like that. They can be straight, they could be slightly curved. All right. And then you just let me know when you're ready. And then we've got another line coming like this and like that. I mean, keep in mind that I do not know how to draw. Okay. I just want to make that clear to everyone out there. I I, I do not claim to know how to draw at all. That's perfect. That's just what okay. we want. Now I'm going to do another U like this. Okay. And another okay. one like this. Okay. All right. And if yeah. you can do me a favor, everyone, just bring those lines a little bit down now to there. Okay. You'll, you'll uh -huh. see why in a minute. Okay. So that's the top of the helmet. And now we're going to do the eyes. So these are the eyes. Okay. And we want to color those in. All right. We did. We did. Now I'm doing this uh, with a biro, okay? So it's not going to be as, as beautiful as yours. That's, that's I'm perfect. Doing, I'm doing lockdown art here. Because <laughs> I only can use what I have at home, so I'm kind of stuck indoors. Perfect. And I've got this, the latest iPad Pro, which is um, totally awesome. An unfair advantage. So now yes. we're going to do that little nose, because this, um, this is a very clever design helmet. Obviously, it represents a skull. So we're going to do two little lines on either side like that. And then we're going to do these triangles, which seems a bit weird. Just follow what I'm doing. There's a a triangle on its side. One there and one on the other side. And so you've got the sort of the combination of the skull design and the um, sort of mechanical design because remember Darth Vader was, um, I want you to do some lines, just follow these lines going up like this. You remember he, he has that heavy breathing because he he got barbecued by Obi Wan Kenobi and his limbs chopped off. I actually found that scene quite um, upsetting. <laughs> which which episode? I that, think it was uh, the, uh, was that the first three episodes, the old ones, or was that the new? The new newer episodes? ones, the newer yeah. ones. The new ones. The new ones. I'm just trying to think of the um, character Anakin. 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 So Anakin yeah. was, um, we're going to do little circles at the bottom of these triangles. Okay. 
Yeah, Anakin was the young man who then becomes Darth Vader. Okay, and then okay. we're going to join these two little dots across. I can't wait to see, Kirsty, your drawing. <laughs> I can't wait to see it too. Is it finished? Or are we doing no, one? not yet. So I've got another triangle. Okay. <laughs> but don't don't connect it at the end. Leave a little gap. Okay. Sorry, I said that word. Um, sorry. <laughs> Um, I just connected it. Don't worry, Sorry. don't worry. It can be, I'll, I'll do you a favour. I'll just draw, that's all it was. I was going to just draw a line like that. Because I'm... Can, can I flatten it still, even though I did all the work? Uh, yeah, you can do that. You can, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. All right, I'm just going to... All right. Okay. And then I want you, this time we're going to do a line down to about here. On one side. And then another yep. line on that side. Okay. And then we're going to go parallel like that. I think we all know what that is. That's the back of the helmet. Yeah. Okay. And then I want you to do a sort of a circle, a sort of an upside down U again here. Okay. And that's the bottom of his neck. And then all you do is connect it like that with a little bit of a curve there. Can you see that? Yeah. And there you have your the basics of Darth Vader. But if you <laughs> show us your drawing, let's see, let's see. But that's, see that's excellent. <laughs> My friends don't make a brain actually. Like I don't actually draw at all. Uh, never. Um, I'm uh, I'm into a lot of manual creative things, uh, but I'm not into. It's not like I'm not into. I'm into watching drawing, but I'm not into drawing. I always felt that I either have the talent or I don't have it. I thought it was kind of a black or white thing. And uh, so I've just been shown that even something like me who has no talent uh, can actually draw. So thank you. Yeah, and and that is that is the sad thing is that a lot of people are convinced when they're kids that they can't draw, uh, but that's not Absolutely. the that's not the case. Well, there was always, at the school, so we're going a bit retro here. But at school, it was always like you were either number one, maybe number two in art, or you might as well just forget it. And uh, so it kind of discourages you in a way from from like taking that step further and you know just enjoying art. Just uh, I mean, one of the reasons I enjoy this is that I just love just to watch. Actually, I uh, just take my coffee, which actually is good for this one. Every, Very good. Um, and, just, uh, and just watch you draw. I mean, that, that that's a pleasure in itself. You know, I uh, just enjoy art. So this is great. Sorry, I'm taking this away from the subject. No, no, no. I love it. And and you're you're saying all the right things uh, about art because it is um, there's there, there are a lot of people who want to make it intimidating. And um, yes, if you go into an art gallery and you're looking at a master, and uh, but a lot of people don't realize that there this is the most natural thing in the world to them is to to draw. Uh, that's why that's why we painted you know why did we paint on walls in caves and um, yeah. and and it's such a um, relaxing experience it, for some people they say they'd yeah. rather die than than draw um, I've had people where they've held the pen terrified and wouldn't even touch the paper so yeah. it, that is such a shame because it doesn't matter you know what whatever you put down but I always say you've got to get started that's that's the main thing you've got to start and you'll surprise yourself so while we're chatting I'm just drawing a few more um, marks and anyone who's who's you know really does feel confident with drawing should just follow what I'm doing now because really all I'm doing now is adding the shine of this awesome helmet and it's a really good little lesson this in that um it's it's i've drawn a very mechanical helmet for you 
And now I'm going to show you how to do a shiny helmet and, and keeping it very, very uh, simple. And that it doesn't would, would I, sorry, would I, would I have heard, like if I was, uh, I'm obviously I'm not going right now, you, I've reached my level of, of art that I can, uh, that I can do, but if I want to do, like, like you just said, I know you're using Procreate, which is a very special sort of, um, uh, app, if you want, uh, that, uh, that goes with iPad, etc. I know about all that. In fact, I actually downloaded one for me. I wanted to try just to do some graphics and text and stuff like that yeah. uh, for professional reasons. But if I wanted to do shine, which is what you're saying you're doing right now, um, and I only had uh, you know, paints, what I have at home, because I mean, we're in quarantine, or we've just come out of it actually, we're just coming out of quarantine now. So I only have pen and paper and you know uh, what I can find around the house. Is it possible? to do what you're doing or really you need a professional app to do what you're doing now with the extra little glows and shine? Well, I, I started out only with pencil and paper because that's all there was in the Stone Age. And uh, so I've had to learn with the basics. Now with this technology, I can do anything. I mean, I can choose uh, different colors um, without having to mix them, which I used to have to do. So it's all it's all there. Um, uh, you know, I used to travel uh, and um, paint on the move. So I, I actually met my husband in Chile on an art expedition, and I was the artist on the expedition. That was when there was only wet film. So we're talking over 20 years ago, wet film. And What's wet? wet film, well, um, you know, you remember when we used to open the, if you opened your camera and you let yeah. the light in and you oh, realized okay, there was, yeah. there was uh, yeah. a film inside and then you just blew all your holiday photos. Yeah, I was just going to say, I can remember very well because I used to be really into taking photographs and I lost a lot of photographs as well. Yes. Uh, by doing that, because some, some silly person next to you would grab the camera, you'd drop it, and then it'd all go flying over. Yeah, yeah I remember all that very well. <laughs> well, amazing. That, that is uh, what is so exciting now. And, and I don't agree with yeah. a lot of, um, especially photographers, they're a bit upset now because anyone can be a photographer. You know, you just take a thousand digital photos um, and, you know, you could be a photographer. That's brilliant. It's almost like with the lockdown, there are so many people who are not rushing around like mad things. And they, are, they do have time and they're finding their talents because there's no, you know, they don't have to sit in traffic for two hours a day. Um, I mean, this is not, a lot of people are working very hard during lockdown, but you, you see where I'm going with this, the fact that technology has allowed people to yeah. create. And I'm just going to do his um, shoulders now. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a little controversial what I'm going to say, but the, um, I remember a lot of people, especially our generation, so I'll put our generation because you're in the same generation as me, uh, the uh, we we say that kids are all, all you know shut off in their rooms and they just play games all day etc and they're constantly on social media and take pictures of themselves and so forth and then I read somewhere else somebody said no but they're actually expressing themselves so whilst they're taking their photos and yeah. whilst they're on social media they're writing they're creating they're taking photographs they're learning technique they're you know um, it's actually very positive what they're doing, and it's the way today that they are expressing themselves as an artist, like yourself is expressing themselves. Yeah. Um, and it's a completely valid form of, you know, expression if you want. So just want to do that for instance because I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, and uh, and I know um, for somebody like me, all the new tools we're getting is just. And a lot of people say the opposite, but for me, it's simplifying my life yeah. uh, with the kids and, you know, communication, etc. cetera. So, um, and to see you being able to do this type of art, you know, we're doing this, I mean, you're in Johannesburg, I'm in the south of France, actually, 
uh, at the moment. Um, we're communicating, you're creating, I'm naturally on whilst you know, you're putting on the things you're working on. I so, am. I am listening to you, Natta. Okay. And, and all this, thanks to the new tools and social media, uh, and I'm just mind boggled by it all, you know. Uh, and, and sorry, I'm going to go, what is it called, a segue? I'm going to segue into Star Wars. Oh, yeah. So, a segue into Star Wars. When I was a kid, and the first time I ever saw this, I was living in the countryside, and I saw this film, and it was all special effects and costumes, and, you know, uh, I don't know if it was Dolby, Dolby Surround, but it was like just the sound coming out of you, and and it was such a different world from the, the countryside and the sheep. And the, the grass and you know the the silence if you want and it was so in my mind so high tech and I was so excited about it because I thought I would love to live in that world that is just so uh, the communication so sophisticated so I am I am very honored no I love um, it and 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 I want to be part of that I really want to be part of that and so when you ask me what is you know what am I a fan of what do I really love what do I still love? And if I had to, if you had to draw something for me, and without a hesitation, it was Star Star Wars, because it, it just brings up so many fond memories of being a kid and what I wanted my future to look like in a way where yeah. I wanted to be. Okay, without the negatives of blowing up the Death Stars and stuff like that, but but the, the technology gap. Yeah. So that was a bit. Of a and and also but, segue. I'm going to segue into Princess Leia because I remember in 1977 yeah. that she was totally awesome and a princess and, uh, you know, part of the resistance and strong and all those things that, you know, when you're a little girl, uh, she was amazing. And, you know, she was only 19 when she was in that. Um, I know. At the time, I thought she was so old. And I wanted to be her. It's funny you mentioned uh, Princess Leia because um, I, I, when Princess Leia, when I saw the first Star Wars, this is the first time, and I don't know if they existed before, uh, but this is the first time I saw a superhero, if you want, or, or uh, a hero that was a female who was holding her own. And I was like, wow, you know, uh, she was strong, she was smart, she, she was in control, um, yeah. she was a leader. And I was like, at the time, I was in, I was an incredible tomboy, but I went to a girls' school, so I was told, you know, I was being taught to cook and clean, and basically prepare for my future, which was living in the home, having kids, which is great, which I did have. Uh, but but this Princess Leia character, I was like, whoa, what's that? You know, I can be that too. That's amazing, you yeah. know. Uh, and it was such a positive image. Of, uh, of women, if you want, and uh, and I've never seen that in films before to that extreme, you know. Um, so for me, Princess Leia is very, uh, very, very special because she probably even determined a little bit of uh, the route I took later on in life and, and where I wanted to go. Um, yeah. So I think she, I, I assume she had a lot of impact on a lot of young girls at the time. You know, thought, hey, we, you know, we don't have to. Nothing wrong about cooking, really. By the way, uh, if you take care of at home, all, all respect. We, we all do um, it. Yeah, I mean that's that's uh, it's fantastic. But I, but uh, I, you know, I just, uh, yeah, I saw kind of my future that way. Of course, not quite the same thing today, but um, I found Star Wars to be very positive in many, many, many ways. So it's, it's a good memory. That's why when you mentioned to me, I was like, yeah. Star Wars, for sure, for sure. Yeah, um, it was, it was, uh, and it wasn't um, a huge success when, well, in the making of the movie. When it came out, yeah. it was a success because yeah. um, of the editing. And I read somewhere that uh, there were three editors and one of them was uh, a woman and she was also married to George Lucas, one of his first wives. Yeah. So yeah. um, just a wonderful um, collaboration. 
uh, but it, certainly the movie, the making of the movie did not go well. Uh, and I think it almost killed George, George Lucas. He, um, really? he was very ill when it came to uh, the, the final sort of phase. Um, yeah. So I've got the Death Star in there, and I'm just going to throw Jesus. in um, a, uh, I'm just trying to think what they're called, the Destroyer, because I've got two boys, and I don't think they would ever, ever speak to me again if I forgot to put a Destroyer in there. So I'm just going to yeah. put it in, and I know they're shaped like a pizza. I shouldn't say that. Is that the one in the, do you remember the opening, the first ever opening of Star Wars? Yes. And you have, is that the destroyer that you see the bottom of it, just all you see is this sort of gray, dark. And it goes on and on and on and on. On, yeah, on and on. And it was, I found it just so spectacular. Um, you know, that was the opening that, you know, I can't remember now, Fleets Far Away, they had the writing that came out as well. Um, but it was, uh, I, I just absolutely loved that. And you know the funny thing with Star Wars, which is quite interesting, so you have the, the, the you have sort of a black and white meaning, you know, evil and good, evil versus good. Oh yeah. But the beauty of Star Wars is you, you kind of like both. You, you, you know, you're into Darth Vader, you're into the Death Star, you're, I was totally into the stormtroopers. I just want to be a stormtrooper, quite honestly. Uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, and then you were rooting for. Um, I was actually in, really into Han Solo as well. Oh yes. Really into Han Solo. Oh yes. And uh, uh, just uh, and all the characters just all stood out. And uh, I'm just thinking that there wasn't um, uh, they, none. Uh, you know. Yeah, Chewbacca, are. what a great character! He was furry and friendly, and yet he would—he could tear your arms off if he didn't like you. Uh, yeah. And yeah. and that he didn't speak uh, at all; he just sort of grunts, um, <laughs> which is great, yeah. and and probably influenced uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Do you know Groot? He never—he just yeah. says the whole time, "I am Groot, I am Groot." So they. Yep. You know, the, all that sort of uh, influence. Uh, Absolutely. I think that's enough destroyers. What do you think? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's really, really good. I should put in a, um, uh, what's the, um, saber. Let me just put that in there. The light, light saber. Yeah, let's have oh, one lovely. going across like this. There we go. How's that? Oh, I like that. I always want to have one. How many Christmases did I ask if I could have one of those? Uh, it's like, you know, I really, really wanted one. Every um, kid had had one of these. Yeah, you know, the funny thing, I was watching the Graham Norton show. The, 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 you know, I was watching the uh, the UK version, um, and I was watching uh, the uh, on uh, YouTube, and I kept going back to the Star Wars, he did a Star Wars one with the lightsabers, and they do a, a Star Wars battle, and they had found these most amazing lightsabers, those combat scenes, yeah. uh, with, the, with the blue and the red color. And I still, to this day, still at my age, I was going, I want one of those. I really want to do that. I don't know if I can find anybody to do it with me. I'd have to find myself an 11-year-old or a 13-year-old to fight with me. Um, yeah, there's, no, there's, there's an app where yeah. on your phone, if you swing your phone around, it makes all the sounds of the, the lightsaber. Now, I'm going, I'm going to um, move on and draw. You said you were you wanted to see uh, Princess Leia. Is that correct? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm a big fan of Princess Leia. So if we, if we can find a uh, Princess Leia, you said you're going to put her in a little bikini. Uh, but I do, I do like the white outfit. I think it's the white outfit she wears. Okay, let's um, let's do the white outfit. So we got we got to put yeah. in the cinnamon buns, and um, I'm just trying it's to. The only thing I can look like is the cinnamon buns. Can't throw the there. Uh, what? So I'm just thinking, you know, the ears. What a terrible, terrible ha hairstyle, and um, yeah. but so iconic. You just 
cannot think of any other hairstyle than that when yeah. it comes to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she actually had several haircuts or hairstyles, um, and yeah. they're they're all you know lots of plaits. And there's one terrible one that's even worse than the cinnamon bun, um, which is yeah. where she has all the 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 hair all the way down long and it's all very um it's been plaited and frizzed um but you know that was the fashion then that's what uh everyone was was wearing uh everyone had so, so good was with the style and with the movie i i saw an interview with terry fisher actually um quite recently and uh you know she was a wonderful actress wonderful person uh, funny, uh, you know, um, great person actually. And he was talking about her her hairstyle at the time. She was saying how she had quite a round face, and she said it in a funny way. I, I apologize to everyone out there. I don't have her humor, but uh, the uh, but she said that what what's a better hairstyle you can put on somebody with a round face? She had done the cinnamon bun hairstyle. And she said you just went from round to round. It was like the oddest choice of the hairstyles ever. Um, but uh, and, and yeah, and funny, I never actually saw anybody copy that actually uh, out the street. Do you remember anyone wearing that on their head? No, but I, I I have actually seen some great copies of it. That somebody knitted a beanie. You know what a beanie is? Is mm. woolly hats. Which came with the yeah. with the ears, um, or the cinnamon bun. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think it'll ever come back in fashion, but it was the most. Well, it looks like one of those ear. Um, what do you call it? Um, oh, to listen to music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like one of those head headset. Sorry. Sorry, uh, maybe it you. maybe it has. Uh, I'm in France. <laughs> no, I like going between French and English, so so if you couldn't find the most basic word. Do apologize. So I'm just gonna draw her um, outfit, and I think she needs to, again to have sort of a um, a gun. This is a kind of a cartoon version of of her, um, and. We're going to do a sort of a typical Star Wars gun, I think, with some more laser beams coming out. So, because it's all about laser. I mean, that was the other thing in the 19, 1977. Nobody had seen laser beam guns before. I think there was um, Flash Gordon. Sure. But the uh, Flash Gordon, which, by the way, I loved, but it just wasn't even close yeah. to the special effects that this movie had. Was it said, um, isn't the story, because I'm in France, I said that already, but I'm in France right now, but I remember Flash Gordon, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was a French uh, comic, remember, um, it was uh, owned by the French, that, and I think George Lucas wanted to do Flash Gordon, is that right? And then, uh, for whatever reason, the rights didn't happen, he couldn't get the rights, so then he went off and did his own thing by doing Star Wars. Is that correct? That's, that's I, I have never story? heard that, but I think that sounds amazing. Okay, I hope I'm not making that one up, but I did hear that. Um, uh, and it is a very similar atmosphere, if you want. Uh, Flash Gordon. Do you know what we can do? Because I have the beauty of being on internet here. Should we Google it? I can check that I can. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm worried I made that one up as I went along. Flash Gordon. Why would that be French? It doesn't sound very French. Uh, <laughs> Flash Gordon. But that is another. That is another one I could do um, an art tutorial with the Flash Gordon characters. And of course, it has all the music with uh, Freddie Mercury. Um, so we we would love, I'd love to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do yeah. another beam coming out of this one. I'm googling Flash Gordon, but I'm absolutely not getting the right Flash Gordon here. So hold on. 
<laughs> um, yes, you do have to be careful. You have to be really careful when you do things like flashboarding. Um, okay, so we've got some laser beams going on here. Um, I'm just going to color in this gun. Sorry, I'm obsessing about. I, I'm, I'm always worried I'm making it up as we go along, but anyway, we can look. Everybody can look into this afterwards. Um, don't take up your time on that. But uh, but anyway, that's that's. So nice. shall I shall I stick your head on this one? Should we do a quick quick caricature? Oh, oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> can you do that? Can you literally I put can. my head on her? I can. Are you gonna do this? I've actually got to chop her head off. Sorry about this, Princess Leia. Okay. And um, there we go. Let's stick your head on now. Okay. And draw my head. I, I'm going to draw you uh, as you are now. So, Princess Leia with glasses. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. I mean, what a dream if you can draw. Uh, like me, and then actually put me as a character. That's you know a, a, a fantasy character. That's pretty wild. Well, let's well, see. see. Let's see in a minute. But you, I think you'll, I think you'll like this because. Um, that's so funny. I'm just gonna make that's this. It's really wild to see you drawing me. I don't even know what I look like. Oh my gosh. Um, I must get those big blue eyes. And then a little nose. And the nice thing is that because this is a Procreate, I can um, the Procreate app, I can move your head down yeah. if I, if I haven't got it in the right place. So let's put those. That's true. That nose. Oh, that's a very long neck. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is Princess Leia a few years on, shall we say. <laughs> she's got she's got her glasses on now. <laughs> she she's she's getting the little flubber, shall we say? Uh, flubber. Uh, but she's still Princess Leia, sorry. There you go. There we go, Princess Leia, and we're just going to do the hair. Now, should I keep the hair blonde or? I think uh, you, well, uh, can you make me blonde? I mean, it's. Uh, I think it should be because it, like it needs yeah. to look like you. So I think I'm just gonna make that yeah. the the bun a bit bigger. It really is uh, awesome. Yeah. There we go. It's a bit of a cosplay. Uh, it's a bit like co is it cosplay? Um, did you have a comic con? Ah. Uh, where, where people dress up and they in the costume of their favorite sort of superhero or whatever. And I feel like I'm watching myself dressed in a costume yeah. for these events. I love Comic Con, by the way. I've never been, uh, but I just think the whole concept, the event, it's just so festive uh, and so amazing, the costumes. I'm always fascinated when it comes on the news and they show the various costumes or I think I saw a Robocop, somebody built literally Robocop. Yeah, uh, it was just amazing. I mean, spectacular. Um, that is I, that is for me the most wonderful thing about I've I've worked at cosplay obviously um, because of the comic strips and the and um, I was I was actually working on a stand for um, uh, KFC and all the staff had to wear um, sort of leotards leotards with um red underwear over their tights and then red capes and mm -hmm. then they had to, <laughs> they had to um they basically they all had the staff all had to be in cosplay um as sort of flying kentucky fried chicken characters <laughs> and it was fantastic it was such good fun and then the, there was one stage where there was this atmosphere it was very busy Thousands and thousands of people come, and um, a group of about forty people dressed as zombies slowly walked through the whole uh, convention as uh, Game of Thrones White Walkers, and it was so creative and so wonderful. And it 
really scared everybody. <laughs> um, and, you know, people are just having a good time. I saw a whole family, an entire family, from baby to um, mum and dad, dressed as the uh, Incredibles. So oh, adorable. Very cute. And, and then they were with another group, a family, and they were all dressed up as Batman and Robin, and they were just having the best time. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. I would actually, I would really love to go to that. Um, and I know what I dress like. I know I've already seen what I look like as Princess Leia, so I think if I would go as, as her, honestly. I just, I, I need to get your your um, rosy cheeks in there. Let's put some color in your cheeks so you don't look too. There we go. And then, I like myself there. You made me look nice. I, you know, to be honest, I think this cinnamon bun really suits you. And Actually, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> this is your new. I might go out. I might wear one of those on my my head. I could actually do. That. I actually have full hair, so I actually could uh, do that. This could be your new look. So, <laughs> I've I've had so much fun. I I think we're coming to the end now. I'm just gonna put um. Yeah. A planet in oops sorry wrong color I'm gonna put you in space and see if I've okay. got this underneath you uh, let's hold on a second I think we do have to have a, a vibe of you being in space so okay. let's do that okay, wait a minute gonna so get cool. it curved so if I, if I want to get this off you can you actually send that to me yeah, so what what was great at uh, somewhere like Comic Con, I could just airdrop this to people. It's my phone. Straight onto your phone. Um, and um, so I'm just going to make this beams beams a bit lighter. Should we have some more beams? I think flying around because she, you know, she's she's pretty tough, and uh, we'll have some more beams coming up from behind her. There we go. There we go. Because she's she's tough. Um, yeah, and then I can just e I'm gonna after after this tutorial I'm gonna email it to you. How's that? Cool. Yeah, that's gonna be my new um uh, picture that I'm gonna put on Facebook and all that. Yes. That's gonna be me. That's me from now on. There you go. And I've been um, yeah, automatic face as well. I like it. And then your space. It's like a doll like that, actually. Taking and there's a uh, segue again. Uh, that's taking us back to the seventies, isn't it? Very, but very retro, very seventies. Um, and uh, very similar. You know, we always had posters of our favorite stars. Uh, celebrities. This this would be yeah. a, a classic sort of poster that we would have in our rooms in those totally, totally. glorious so days when we had braces yeah. and pigtails and and we had Star Wars. It's fantastic. Thank you so much, Kirsty, for uh, being you. my Thank guest. That was so fun. <laughs> Am I allowed to come back? You're allowed to come back and um, uh, please. Blow this up to a double A2 size poster for your for your room. I think that's uh... yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and the drawing. Yeah. Let's see your drawing again. Have you got it? Uh, yes. Here we go. Thank well you. done. We'll end on that note. How fantastic. Okay, and thank you everyone, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>